cuddling with my big girl. And then I don't know if you can see her, but here's the little one. Okay. Hubs on the phone. Yeah. So we're just setting up Zen out. I just okay. So there is there an uh, admin there that knows the server stuff? Or? The kisses. Okay, but they like he knows the all the server names and how to get you already had a papa. access to them. Using a like account. We're making breakfast upstairs, and this is our drink station under the table in our foyer. Uh, tubs is root beer. There's water, my coke, and then the boys Mountain Dew. So I already had tea this morning, but bring up drinks. Come making breakfast. Oh, for those wondering what this cardboard box, we have it there kind of as like a, a gate for Momo, not the kids, because Momo is terrified of cardboard. It's the most affordable gate, because he can jump any baby gate if he wants to. He would never jump a baby gate, because he knows it's not supposed to, but this is easier if we need to block him off, let's say if we're cooking and he's getting like annoying. And um, my sister in law is actually really scared of dogs, so sometimes she wants to block them off. But, yeah. so it's just there. And sometimes if he sees something that's freaking him out, we block the windows with it. It's just a really lightweight, affordable game. It's been around since we were supposed to move. He was eating. Mia is hanging out with the hubs. I'm gonna have, I'm eating bread right now, but spicy ramen. And then Hub is gonna have dry noodle. Ava opened a bunch of them, and then Ava's gonna have some congee that's dry, uh, cooling off right now. Made from my mama. That's what we're doing. Two eggs and two packets of noodles. And um, the seasoning that comes with the dry noodles. That stuff already in there. It's hubs of food. Hot tiny two hands with a spoon in their face in the bowl at the same time. Weirdo. Hey, use your spoon. My egg is boiling. <laughs> and so we have a half boiled egg and then a bunch of pork balls. I tied Ava's hair into a side pony. It's a little messy, but... Five forty-two. Both kids are napping. Mia is upstairs. Ava is TKO'd. Hallelujahs. Hallelujahs. Lately she's been fighting her nap, so hallelujahs. She's asleep. I just finished pumping for Mia. And then I got this package. It's my first of all of my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday orders. And this one is from Makeup Geek. I ordered stuff. Though they didn't have any sale. I, uh, I think I just got it because I, I wanted to get stuff for things were selling out. But yeah, it was 50 bucks. Everything from her line is really affordable. So she was saying on her Twitter that there wasn't a Black Friday or Cyber Monday sale because the prices are already really low for the quality we get. Which I do like the eyeshadows I own from her. I always... uh open things upside down so haha <laughs> I don't have to deal with the packaging bubbles I was trying to open it right side up and the label was getting in the way so you know how that goes so it says please wash your new brushes before use my parents house tonight it's Friday night and my mom is off she'll be spending the night um, there this week my mom's nights off change every week so as stated before I gotta take advantage of that grandparent time. She'll only be gone for like 24 hours because I'll be dropping her off around maybe 8 and then I have to pick her up around the same time tomorrow. Oh, this is, oh my. So nice. Well, you guys can't see this all, actually. I'm going to be doing a Black Friday haul, but I got a bunch of fun stuff. So I'll let you guys have a sneak peek. These, and then I got the, ooh, the new packaging. I bought Makeup Geek Shadows when they first came out. 
right before Ava was born, so it's almost been two years. Yeah, I'm with Instagram now. I have clothes everywhere, which is driving me nuts because my hampers are all occupied right now. But we will fix it all tonight. My office is a hot mess. Driving me nuts. Like, there's stuff piled on stuff and stuff and stuff. Now, these are jewelry holders that I bought on Hot Look. Ow, that hurt. And it looks like this. It's like a stackable jewelry box. I like that it has, like the compartments inside like that so i originally ordered the black one as well to see if i could or i know i can like just like black white black white but then after a while i'm thinking it's gonna look kind of weird and i don't know if i really need something that tall so i am probably gonna give this one to one of my friends for christmas because i think this would look really nice in her room <laughs> but yay thank god this box is empty now it's been driving me nuts i'm sitting on the floor and I've been keeping boxes just in case to ship off um, two Christmas presents. So now if I pack them today, I'll know what I can throw away. Which is amazing. And now I think, I think I'm going to keep a box for a giveaway too. Which, whoa, I'm kind of sick of having boxes. Sophia and uh, so I'm going to show you guys. We just made a new club. It's called the Mwahaha Club. I'll explain it in a second. Call in Sophia. Hello. Well, hello there. I'm it's vlogging. Been so long. <laughs> Quick glance like at Sophia. So One, long. two, three. Psh. Oh, it's Asha. Oh, Asher, say hi. Asha. Little kiss, Asher. Mama. Mama. Little kiss. Oh, you're so cute, Chunky. Hi, Chunky. Mwah. Oh, I'm sending you gifts this week. Yes, I am. You're almost two. Say yes. Say yes. You'll send me videos of you opening it? Yes, yes. You're going to tell your mommy to? Say yes. Oh my god, he's so amazed by the monster video. <laughs> it's okay. So I was telling, oh, or I was showing everyone just like a little bit of our text because it's on my computer. And I was like, we created the Mwahaha Club. And I'm going to tell them Seriously? quickly what the Mwahaha Club without, you know, obviously telling them too much. But So because we have kids. And we're younger. We are younger moms. Yay. Younger moms. Mm -hmm. There's pros and cons to everything. A lot of people always ask me that all the time. Like, you know, what are the pros? There's more pros than there are cons. I think we agree to that. There, there are yeah. cons, but the pros, you know, the energy, we're young, and we get our lives back at a young age for everyone who's like, oh my god, you wasted yes. away your youth and all that. My kids will be going to school when I'm 24. So, <laughs> I, I have plenty of time to live my life. But they are... They are our lives now. We can agree on that, you know. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like we're gonna be like, oh, we're clubbing, you know. As soon as our kids go to school, it's, it's not like that. But yeah, a lot of people like, like pretend like our, our lives together. Yeah, we can. This is what the Maha Mahaha Club is about. We can have a clean house. We can buy whatever we want for decor. Like Sophia has the evil smile on right now. <laughs> yeah. Like you don't have to worry about dangerous small objects or like things they can break and yeah i know i'm sure there's moms out there who can accomplish having a beautiful christmas tree and beautiful like things like mounted everywhere without worrying that the kids are gonna yank it down get screws in their mouths or like pin tacks or whatever they're called tack whatever i don't even know what they're called push pins and i i'm sure we could accomplish that but really it's not worth it the decor is pretty but it's not worth the stress and the trauma and the danger but then our kids are going to grow up and they're going to be responsible enough eventually to not eat everything they see <laughs> and i have to show you this so this is this is her tree like, so this is our christmas tree because <laughs> oh, Asher Asher. he grabs all the little ones so we had to like just move them up and he throws all of them over here like, and that's just normal, you know? It's like, it's bright, it's colorful, and they look like balls. Like, how can you tell them, you know, like... Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's some and, kids out there who don't do it, but the majority probably do. <laughs> and he breaks off the tip of this, and he scratches it on the window. Oh my god, no. Like, it's so bad. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. So See? I just let him do whatever he wants. See? So our Mohaha Club is to everyone who's out there who, who like, tells us specifically, I guess, you know, that... It, you can keep your house pretty and clean and all that, or they're enjoying their pretty and clean house with their fancy, smanchy decor, and we're sitting here like, but wait till you have kids. Because we'll be, our kids will be growing, and we'll be like, mwahahaha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to be 30, and our house is going to be... Auntie, wave hi. Wave hi. Like, Auntie's waving. 
You waved no, earlier. Are you going to wave? She's oh, like, I want your nail polish. Ava. Did you say hi to your boyfriend? I miss you, Ava. Auntie misses you, see? She's like, I want your nail polish. <laughs> okay, we got to go change your poo-poo. Thank you. Girl. Mm. This little girl decided to wake up. I couldn't see her on camera anymore, but I thought she was under the blanket. She went to the bathroom door, opened the bathroom door, and came to me. And she's collecting my nail polishes right now. Look at her hoarding. She climbed into my chair and everything. And then she took selfies. You guys want to see the selfies? Look at the selfies. I don't think I'm getting them back. We gotta go. We gotta take you to grandma's. Yeah. Okay. That is precious. So precious. I told her, wave hi, and she waved. You wanna film mommy? Film mommy. Hold it for mommy. Look. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Good job. You gonna turn it off? Or are you gonna turn it off? If you guys can tell us how to make this, I know it's like oil and pepper and stuff, but someone is actually Korean. Tell me how to make this, because it's like Hubs' favorite thing ever. Oh, I. Mia's like watching very intently. Because Uncle David's cooking. <laughs> so this is the shabu shabu sauce. And you basically can just dip into that. Or you can dip into that. Or you can dip into that, which David already mixed. So. With that. Yeah. With all the dipping sauce. Oh, the pork belly's on. So I don't think you guys can hear me at all. But the waitresses here love Mia. They keep stopping big faces at her. Even the manager. Or the owner. The owner. They love the kids. I heard they like Ava too. We never used to take Ava because my sister takes Ava here at the time. So. They like our kids. Almost paused with me. I was like, Gary, what are you doing up there? Calm down. Uncle David, are you changing poop? Poop? Moe's? <laughs> Moe's right away. <laughs> Stand up and grab the stairs. <laughs> Cause it's like a safe, you know, from the poop. Never got to show you guys. So basically, I restocked the diapers last night after I finished vlogging. This is Mia's drawer. It's filled to the back. And then Ava has two drawers which have to be stacked like this because they're too tall now. Oh my god. Here we go. Mia's like, don't film this! <laughs> We're gonna need more wipes. Oh yeah, I forgot the wipes are out. Oh no, this is a bad time for the wipes to go out. They're all on top of the closet. Is there any in there? No. It's okay. I'll keep her entertained. Is it, like, is it clear? Not clear yet, Moe's. Can you just bring a whole box down, David? Yeah. Or bring two, or I don't know. But bring a lot down. As many as you feel like grabbing. Wah hello, Gooby. You're about to get a bath. David, why are you putting a new diaper on her if you're giving her a bath? Oh, that makes sense. Boy, you still have to... It was more of like a spillage protection. Oh, yeah. Understandable. Gooby. Yo, Ooh, I smell it. It is a poop. <gasps> hey. You got a booger. Uh, don't eat the booger. Ew. Uncle David got the wipes. Okay. Okay. So this will be for this poop and then those. <laughs> yeah. That would be horrible. Oh, you like green, right? What the shade of green? You guys are censored. You will thank me for this one day. Oh, yeah. Not for the faint of heart.
or mom's bathtub for anyone who did not know. And today we're going to try out this California baby shampoo and body wash. Uh, I was actually sent this um, a long time ago with a bunch of their stuff to try. Right before I was having, well, right before I had Mia. So, figured might as well try it. For extra cleansing, allow to sit for 30 seconds and then rinse. Ah, that's your tip on the bottle, David. 30 seconds. I think got time for that. Try to censor you this way, Mia. She's like, I'm waiting for my shampoo, guys. <sighs> yes, I am. David sits her up to the shampoo, or then I think he lays her back down later. Or stands her up. Between those folds. Yay! Yay. Are there them stanky armpits? Oh, your armpits are stanky, Mia. That sucks. So now, while Mia's getting her bath, I stare at Momo. I kid. I have to put all these wipes away. I usually store it in the kids' closet, and then I also have to um, make sure all three wipe stations are full and take pictures of all of the gift to grow points on the wipes because you can redeem them for prizes at pampers.com so I think I have like over 3,000 points stored right now I used to redeem it for free laundry detergent but they took that reward down so now I can't do that but let's see we already restocked wipe station number one and the other one is upstairs on the couch and the other one is on my office so I'm pretty sure the one upstairs was just refilled and my couch is good, so I'll just take a picture of everything and put it in my closet for now. Playroom is spotless. So that means one thing. Actually, no, it means two things. One, Ava is not home. <laughs> and two, Uncle David's at it again. He cleaned the entire playroom for us, which was so sweet. I know, I know. I get comments all the time. People say they would love to have Uncle David. Sorry, he's ours. But uh, if you find another guy named David, you can ask him to clean your playroom. <laughs> but this Uncle David's all ours. But yeah, he's, he's awesome. He luckily is OCD. <laughs> and he wanted to clean Ava's playroom, especially when she's out of the house. Because Ava usually destroys it as he's cleaning it. So it's nice and spotless. And he even vacuumed. I told him I would vacuum. So let me know when he was done organizing. And he vacuumed already. So, yeah. It's really late right now. So he just finished it. 1.30 pretty much in the morning. I just showered. Latest shower in a long time. I was just so busy editing beauty videos. So I need to end the night with a cup of tea. I just put some bottles in the wash. but um, My Thai tea in this little glass thing with Jake that I got on Hot Look. The glass itself is hot as crap with this weird, I don't know, maneuver. I don't even know what I'm saying. But this, you hold it, it's not hot. I need to edit today's vlog. I'm watching um, Makeup Geek right now. And I wanted to try a new face mask. I'm debating between using a new entire face mask or just an eye mask. So you guys get a quick glimpse of my eye mold order. Yep. Probably one of these leaders eye mask. So those go underneath. But then I got a different one. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a hand mask by Leader. Oh, I'm showing you guys too much. Too much. I think my skin actually might need a gel mask this time. I'm either going to use a gel mask or one of these new um, total eye patches. This actually looks pretty cool. How long do you have to wear this thing? I think my entire face needs a, a face mask, to be honest. So this will have to wait till tomorrow. But, um, let's see. Maybe... Yeah, I'll use one of my leader's gel masks. I got so many masks. But the gel masks are amazing. This one is for brightening. I just need a lot of moisture right now. My face feels dry as crap. So we are going to put you guys on your typical bottle. Grab some tonez. I haven't toned my face since getting out of the shower. Probably why I feel dry as crap. 
Sometimes I switch it up and use a different one. Or I'll combine it. I'll combine it tonight. Grab another cotton pad. I really need more space on the shelf. Okay. And get this one, which is um, Estadu. I don't know how to say Est, Est, uh, whatever. It's a whitening lotion. It's more like a brightening thing that helps with uh, melanin, prevents dry rough skin, keeps your skin in a healthy state, and it's a huge bottle. And I've used it so many times, but I think it's alcohol free too because it doesn't have that, that tingling sensation. But I actually sometimes use it for my underarms as well because it, it brightens and stuff. Oh crap. I need to put a headband on instead of this towel because this towel is hurting my head. But I'm soaked in serum. Oh my paper my paper towels all the way over there. Take this crap off. Ah headbands on. This should be the easy part. If only my lips aren't huge. It's always like my problem with face masks. Yes, this is the gel. I'm going to wear this for 34 minutes while I edit this vlog and sip on my tea. Let me get the tea bag out. Oh no, I don't have tea on my laptop! So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow.